good morning students welcome to first pc class myself lakshmi pati lecturer in economics okay working in sri maruti bv college okay today i am going to discuss about subject economics subject is economics so in first few see you should study about kannada or hindi english economics business studies accountancy and computer science so in the first few see it is also one of the most important subject that is economics so about this already a little much information understood in 10 uh, like previous class ssc so i think you studied in uh, social studies right so in that a part is there economics and that uh, you discussed about uh, developed countries developing countries like uh, national income okay about that only you discussed now we are going to discuss about economics in the broad way and also we should uh, study as a uh, like uh, independent subject independent subject before it was merged with the social studies now we have to discuss this one in the separate way or separate subject so now we have to discuss about what is the meaning of economics so what purpose we have to study economics so what are the uses what are the advantages what are the disadvantages okay what you have to know so what is the meaning of economics say especially this economics word derived from two greek words it is derived from two greek words this word which one economics this word derived from two greek words one is ekos another one is nomos okay students listen carefully so economics is also one of the most important subject you have to study in first few years as like as in uh, uh second pc also so as well as so here in first pc we have to discuss two parts so before that i have to explain what is the meaning of economics right so economics this word derived from two greek words one is ekos and another one is nomos so what is the meaning of ekos so ekos means a household ecos means a household nomos means management nomos means management don't forget see economics this word derived from two greek words one is ecos another one is nomos so ecos means household nomos means management so ecos that is how a household a household nothing but a person just imagination in a family you have to uh, give the complete importance and rights to the head of the family okay here we have to think like that household okay here house we have to consider like country or economy okay we have to think i have to imagination we have to assume that house means country a country or an economy so how a person manage the or head of the family manage the complete home necessities okay oba vyakti athwa oba kutumbada mukhyasta yav rithi ondu manenalli avashyakatagalanna idiristhare athwa it will provide uh, important things to the family what they are uh, expecting either more or less definitely they will provide so head of the family as like as in the economy also we have to provide all the basic facilities and the necessities and uh, luxuries to the people we have to provide in the country pratyobru kuda namu bekagiradanna country nallu kuda they should get how they get that is provided by the government provided by the government how they will provide that is through the help of study of economics study of economics why because see 
economics this word derived from two greek words one is ecos another one is nos ecos means a yeah, household a yeah, household nos means management that is maintenance we can say like that maintenance maintain okay how should the how we can maintain the house that is only we can understand from the uh, through the study of economics illi house anthe helade we have to imagine like the country a person that is household okay we have to maintain we have to manage the country how we can manage the country with the help of study which one economics with the help of study of the economics economics will give the suggestions solutions remedies how we can manage the country how we can manage the country what is the necessary to manage the country because human wants are unlimited you see human wants are see human wants are unlimited but resources are limited see see this is human wants are unlimited but resources are limited in our country you know that very well india is a developing economy a developing country so population also exploding not only increasing exploding so already we occupied second place in the world right so when the population increasing compared to that resources are very less or limited not possible to fulfill all people needs or wants because wants are recurring in nature ekandre obba prathiyobba vyakti ge ond aase anta irutte aa aa one sorry one aase anta iradilla aase gal jaasti irutte aase anta kandu one complete aagta idage innond aase create aagutte that is wants are recurring in nature ee rithi prathiyobba vyaktiya aase galanna like economically okay economically you know on expect maartane goods and services anna we have to provide a provide maadadakoskarane we have to study about economics suppose human wants are limited just imagination or assume human wants are limited once you think madadare human wants are limited aasegalu tumbane kadme but resources are unlimited anta ankondidre okay resources are unlimited anta ankondidre there is not necessary to study about economics okay now economics bage study maada avashyakate irta illa yavaga if human wants are limited ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಆಸೆಗಳೇನಾದರೂ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಿಯಮಿತವಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ನಿರ್ಬಂಧಿತ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಪನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಷನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ದ resources which resources less resources how to utilize the less resources then what to produce yen anu production maadbeku it is not possible to produce all the goods and services okay and all the people are expecting same thing different like people are expect people are expecting different goods and services but not possible to produce all goods and services ella avashyakatagalanu edisodike sadhya illa yakagala because resources are less okay but then to get a one commodity we should sacrifice another commodity right so in this situation how we can manage the economy how we can manage the economy how we can manage the country so that's why economics is very important very useful to the society and to the development of the economy see economics derived from two greek words one is ekos another one is nomos ekos means a yeah, household we can say like that country income we can say like that country like uh, home okay country a uh, home so and nomos is management nomos like management we can say like that accounts how you can manage the accounts about 
house or home. Home means here we have to imagine economy or country. Economy or country. On the deshana yavriti development marvico by providing necessary goods and services, but not possible to provide all the goods and services. So then what we have to do that is how uh, like uh, using the limited resources we should provide goods and services and fulfill human needs for this sake we need economics because when icos plus nomos join that is a household management economics is a household okay Economics is a household management, right? So economics in the country now, economics is a household management. Economics is a household management. So through the help of economics, we can maintain or we can manage the country with the help of uh, through the study of economics, we can control or we can manage, we can produce goods and services like uh, using the limited resources. For this sake only we have to study about economics. So e economics and the country, the before it was merged with social sciences. So e social sciences already in parts study like history, philosophy, uh, then uh, uh, like psychology, like this. As like as even economics. Before it was merged with the uh, social sciences. But this subject has separated by Professor Adam Smith, even the subject and economics and divide Madi, independent tagi, popular Madi Takandaru. Professor Adam Smith, Professor Adam Smith. Okay, so economics and second the subject and divide Madi and the separate tagi. And then a popularized model that Professor Adam Smith. That's why he is considered as father of economics. Father of economics. So father of economics are Professor Adam Smith. Okay. He was a Scottish, like a Scotland, like a Scottish economist from Scotland only. So he has introduced his uh, famous book. He has introduced the famous book. Which one? That is Wealth of nations or nature and causes of wealth of nations. Nature and causes of wealth of nations. So finally, we can say like that. Wealth of nations. He has introduced at the time of 1776. 1776. That's why only he has considered as father of economics. Father of economics. 
so he only separated the economic subject like independently that's why he is considered as father of economics his famous book is wealth of nations wealth of nations okay so economics is uh, very helpful so meaning of economics if you go to the if you go to the meaning of economics okay economics is a social science economics is a social science which studies which studies day to day economic activities of human life okay economics meaning of economics that is economics is a social science you know that very well before it was merged with the social science so which studies day to day economic activities of human life day to day economic activities of human life so pratidina oba vyakti yav rite ondu aarthika chatuvatike that is economic activities those which are uh, like uh, financial activities okay for example purchasing like buying like uh, selling uh, earning spending okay how to earn like uh, how you can earn the money how you can do the work because commonly there are three concepts very important what efforts satisfaction very important three concepts because human wants are arise for to fulfill this, this one he has to do work that is put effort he has to do work by get, uh, doing work he will earn some money that is earning so that earning he can use to purchase of goods and services what purpose to get a satisfaction these things are very important so when the human wants are arise he will do work he will put effort so when he has to uh, he has to start work he has to do work that time he will get the money so using that money he will purchase goods and services through that what he will get he will get satisfaction that's why wants efforts satisfaction wants efforts satisfaction so this is a main important uh, uh, theme of the economy or economics so wants efforts satisfaction so the wants is a wants are uh, common okay wants are uh, recurring in nature when wants are arising that time man will be like uh, people will do the work that is called as efforts when the people are working that time will earn money so that money using that money like they will purchase goods and services produced by the producers so the same using that commodities using the produ- uh, products you will get satisfaction so economics is a social science which studies day to day economic activities of human life day to day economic activities that is uh, like uh, production consumption distribution exchange okay production like uh, like producers who will do the production producers who will do the consumption consumers for example this chalk is produced by producers used by consumers we are the consumers those who are producing they are producers okay so economic activities like how the people are working how the people are working how the people are earning how the people are spending how the people are saving how the people are getting satisfaction okay this is only we have to understand in the subject matter of economics subject matter of economics we have to study in the subject how the people are working how the people are earning how the people are spending how the people are saving how the people are getting satisfaction and through this how the country is developing how the country is developing we have to study in this okay in first few see 
you are going to study about economics in two parts in two parts so what are the two parts that is one is first one is statistics for economics okay this is the first part second one is indian economic development okay ee rithi nimge two books ide athwa two parts ide separate books ide nimge first page nalli in economics one is statistics for economics okay this is also one of the important part and uh, second important part is indian economic development indian economic development yerdu books ide okay don't purchase books if necessary we will inform you okay one is a statistics for economics second one is indian economic development ee rithi yerdu parts ide athwa yerdu books ide so in this year we are going to discuss you are going to study which one statistics for economics and indian economic development so economics is nothing but it is a social science okay which studies day to day economic activities of human life oba pratiyobba vyaktilu daily activities like uh, financially economically in activities anna martane how he is uh, working how he is earning how he is spending how uh, like uh, people are uh, getting satisfaction how the country is developing how the country is providing basic facilities to the people and the luxuries also they need like in a country we can see like poor people and also rich people so how the goods and services are distributed how they are getting the satisfaction everything we will discuss and we can study in the economics like in the first few okay i will send syllabus chapter by chapter uh, as like a picture okay uh, so this is we have to study in first few see one is statistics for economics second one is indian economic development if you have any doubt about introduction you can ask thank you